hello guys welcome you guys say uh, let me tell you something i have been dodging this story like i've been saying i didn't want to talk about this story but they keep on coming to me fancy is you know on a social media rampage like she's talking and telling everybody that wants to listen that the kind of person alex ikubo is you know that he has done a lot of bad things to her and that he's a narcissistic man he's somebody that is um you know kind of triggering her from behind and making it look like she's the mad one she's just outside talking 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 alex is not answering her you know and it's beginning to look like and um, fancy close your mouth now but alex is trying to be like the good person and fancy is acting like the only mad person in the relationship you guys the story is long a lot of people know that alex ekubo engaged or proposed to his girlfriend of five years um fancy you know last year and after a while fancy came out to say that okay oh, engagement is called up i'm not getting married to alex anymore Without any explanation, Alex didn't talk, say anything about it. And months later, Fancy is apologizing, you know. And now, after the apology, people are like, okay, they will get back together. But now, we are all shocked again to see that they actually did get back together, or so it seemed. And now, they are broken up again. Now, Fancy is the one who is answering everybody that needs to be answered on social media. People, she actually posted a message saying that she's taking her life back, you know. This new year, nobody will control her life. People were not asking her how far are you and Alex are you still together. She says no. You know, okay, what happened? One of Fancy's complaint is the fact that for five years, will Alex no we go down there. Alex is used to do the do with her. Another Alex is claiming that it's for religious reasons, which is something that I respect. It is for religious reasons. But my issue now is, Mr. Alex, if you refuse to go down there with Fancy, but you are cheating on her. So it's not like you are generally not doing the do. You're just doing it with people that you prefer. You understand? And now Fancy is saying that he's kind of doing it with um, chubby girls. Fancy is not a chubby person. And so maybe she's worried because she's saying that it began to affect her self-esteem. She can't be worried like, say, okay, is it that you don't like my body? Is it that you don't like my kind of person? Because you are going about with um, chubby girls and I am like Pashandi. You understand? So maybe she begins to worry about the fact that she might not be her spec. And she also said that he swings both ways that he might... Oh, she did not say she did not say but she insinuated because people were asking her asking her like is it that he swings both ways does he like men and women and she says that his preference was not her problem really that she was willing to deal with every other baggage that he came with but the issue now is that he's forcing her to do things in fact the apology she wrote out there is a leaked whatsapp message that she, he was the one that vetted the apology like he wrote the apology gave her you know she wrote it and he was telling her okay delete that line at this part so you see that is a whole messed up situation so now from everything that has happened fancy is saying mm, alex is shutting up that she was saying she didn't want a lavish wedding she didn't want him to spend money and he wanted a big wedding because he's a celebrity she didn't want that she, i think she just wanted a, a certain level of financial security now you guys back to the main crux of this exhausting relationship saga like you guys january is just starting and these people are stressing us this much the situation and ground now looks like okay alex is a public figure fancy is an unassuming american girl you know who's coming to marry a celebrity nigeria girls nigerians fall in love with her she doesn't like alex lifestyle and after five years said that she wanted to break up with him and she broke up publicly you get now alex after is asking her to after she came back to apologize to him because the truth is that she had to come back personally to apologize before alex would ask for a public apology no that's just the truth because she he won't just go to her and say come and apologize publicly if she hadn't done it privately so now my question is what made you after saying you don't want you now want that again this is the issue with people that are in abusive relationships they say they don't want today tomorrow they want they are just not strong enough emotionally most times to move on from their abuser you know or the person manipulating them in the first place because that's the only reason why with everything she complained about his um of exuberance his cheating and everything she called off a wedding and obviously went back to apologize privately which is why alex is saying you apologize publicly since the um breakup was public so now alex is trying to you know arrange his name you know she, for according to him or for him he might have thought that her coming to break up the marriage publicly must have been embarrassing for him and his brand so if we're going to come back together then you have to make a public 
apology so that people will know that you are the one that apologized you are the one that retraced your step and came back to me and now according to what we can see online she did the public apology then he's not keeping up to his own side of the bargain so basically he played her you understand he wanted to embarrass her the same way she embarrassed him according to him you understand so it's just like let me know your thoughts in the comment section guys what do you think about somebody who says i don't want to go down with you but it's cheating is it that the person does not like her or is it that alex was not attracted to her you know um in that in the other room way or was he just really not into the home i was he trying to deceive her because the matter is long i feel like she's trying to say so much but not saying anything really you know it's this kind of case where she's talking and he's quiet that's the sad part she's the one who put out the first message saying she's not marrying again she's the one who put out the second apology she's the one who put out the third apology and now alex is still not talking alex is not responding to her he's just quiet about this whole thing you see when you meet people like this say when they do you finish you could just be like saying are you decrease because now she's ranting she's she's trying to get him to talk and he won't talk and it's just so sad because i think like we'll never know what really happened between the both of them because i feel like she's not trying to talk because she doesn't want to embarrass him she just needs him to acknowledge her feelings and let me tell you something if everything she said about alex is true trust me that he will not acknowledge her feelings people like him they have minds to do whatever they want to do to you you know i just feel like she should just you know pour out her mind say her peace and rest because if she's waiting for alex to acknowledge that he hurt her publicly and all that i, don't, I doubt he will ever do that he's he's a celebrity he's um his name is very important to him than any other thing i doubt he's going to come out publicly to acknowledge her so hopefully she says her mind and uh, moves on from this whole you know back and forth but let me know your thoughts are in the comments section you guys do you think that just just share your thoughts with me <laughs> because i'm exhausted with this whole matter it's the real strong i thank you so much for watching if you like this video you know what to do like it like it like it turn on the bell subscribe please follow us on our facebook page i'll see you in my next video bye